meningoconiosis are the group of interstitial lung diseases. They are a group of interstitial lung diseases which occur because of occupational hazard. They can be due to organic dusts or due to inorganic dusts. Now, here we have to understand this point why they are called as pneumoconiosis or interstitial lung diseases because the predominant changes which you will see in interstitial lung diseases will be in the interstitium. So, I hope you remember the diagram. There was an alveoli and then there was a blood vessel and just between them they were interstitium. This interstitium was normally not seen so well but in interstitial lung diseases this expands and it causes a lot of fibrosis or deposits and that causes the problem right. So these are therefore called as uh, these are a type of interstitial lung diseases okay. Now whenever we are clear about pneumoconiosis now problem is which dust is going to cause which effect? How does that matter? So, remember there is this very simple code, remember it as uh, ASH, A-S-H, okay. So, American Society of Hematology, okay. So, what dust is going to cause what effect depends upon number one amount, depends upon amount of exposure of a particular dust, okay. So, amount of exposure defines how much you are going to get that, okay. Number two is S. What is that S? S means what is the size of the particle. So, if something is less than 1 micrometer in size, it is definitely going to go and lodge in the alveoli. Whereas, something is which is about 5 micrometer in size, it will lodge till the terminal airway. So, size. Next is shape. Okay. So, shape of that particle. What is the shape of the particle? Then it is going to de define uh, how it is going to enter shape and solubility how much solubility is there now this is why this is important let me give you an example like carbon is a particle which when you inhale the macrophages are able to eat it completely so they are completely able to digest it but because it's a pigment it stays in the macrophages forever but still macrophages are able to eat up completely and then they start showing some cytopathic effect Whereas, when we talk about asbestos, asbestos dust is, dust is partially digested by the macrophages. So, therefore, its effect is partially digested. So, its effects will be different. Silicosis, silica very different. So, you understand. So, the size, shape and solubility is going to define what effect that particle is going to have on you. And H is for what is the uh, what is the your host response? Suppose your immune system is very strong, then you are able to clear it up. Okay, so that depends upon host response. How is the host going to respond? Suppose the patient has has uh, is a tobacco smoker, cigarette smoker. The obviously the cilia are already damaged, so they are not able to clear that dust. Or let's say the patient has tuberculosis. So tuberculosis show interaction with all of these dusts some of these dust and can show different effect. So, host effect is also very important. So, remember how the dust is causing what effect depends upon this code ASH that is how much amount is you are exposed to okay then how, what is the size shape and solubility and last what is the host response. So, that defines your that defines your effects okay which everybody should be very clear. Mm -hmm.